when when we first received the diagnosis i thought i don't know how we can ever be happy again Menke's disease is a rare fatal genetic disorder unless detected and treated in the first 10 days of life boys with Menke's typically live three to ten years and so babies born with Menke's disease have an inability or a limited ability to transport copper from the intestine into the body. And so when you don't have enough copper, it affects uh, some really vital things. Menke's disease is sometimes called kinky hair syndrome due to the brittle, twisted hair infant boys with the condition display. And he sat us down and said, he's got a copper problem, we think it's Menke's. It's terminal, and to be honest, I didn't hear the rest of that conversation. It's devastating information. Um, and usually they're told by their uh, pediatrician that there's really not much that can be done. That's uh, largely because the uh, treatment of this disease uh, doesn't uh, occur soon enough. First 10 days of his life, we were in the NICU with him. That would have been the time to run the test, but no one thought to do it. Early detection is critical in Minky's patients because treatment needs to begin in the first 10 days of life to be most effective. Unfortunately, the majority of Menke's cases are not detected until developmental milestones are missed at four months of age or later. By then, much of the damage is irreversible. For some, the copper therapy is life-saving. Now there are some cases where it has worked better, and that's because not all the mutations are the same. And if there's a little bit of activity of the transporter left, then copper treatment uh, seems to work much better. <laughs>